I come with me to Shaga in Hyattsville, Maryland to try Ethiopian food for the first time. It was super chill, clean, and the customer service, baby, impeccable. Okay, she did that. They go to menu right there. For starters, I wanted to start off with the Samoas, if you will. Now, y'all told me to get beef, but they only had chicken. I said, I'm familiar with chicken. Let me get that. Okay, let me get that up off you real quick. When I say it's my first time, that means I don't know what nothing is. I don't know what that sauce is, but I'm going to tell you now. What was it doing? Busting brand new flavor in your ear. That's exactly what it's doing. I said, oh... Why is it so good? Let me get a little bit more of that. It was kind of like a sour, kind of very vinegary kind of taste, which matched well with that fried element. Look at me. Wow, I'm so exquisite. It was like a little pillow of heaven. Flavor was so unique. Honestly, this is something that I have never tasted before. I think that's why I was looking at it just in complete awe. Like, let me get a little bit more of that sauce. Okay, let me get some more on the Samoa. Baby, thank God I got three. Call me the big bad wolf and the three little Samoas the way I tore that thing right on up. Okay, they didn't stand a chance. All I could say was, wow. Now, this dish right here is called Dorowa. Baby, I bodied the pronunciation on that because you know I could butcher a name. And I think this right here is called Sigative. Just when I thought I was doing good. Anyway, moving on. I got cabbage, lentils, potatoes, and collard greens for my side. And that's the injury, okay? You use that to pick the food up with. Baby, I'm about to put bilingual on my resume. Stop playing with me because I'm getting it together. I'm very cultured. <laughs> Now, this is a chicken dish that comes with an egg. Now, I think this is a signature dish in Ethiopia. It's given premium, okay? Top shelf. And that's exactly what it did, baby. My taste buds had never experienced anything like this. And I'm so glad that the people who recommended this told me to do like John Legend. And Take it slow. Oh, oh. Moving right along to this. Mary had a little too lamb. This is a lamb dish, okay? It's like fried lamb with like spices and herbs and stuff like that, baby. I mixed it with the collard greens. Now, I feel like I put my thing down flip it and reverse it like I know what I'm doing and don't get too carried away because I don't okay because <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing but I'm doing it though I'm definitely doing it it's getting done and I'm enjoying it Ooh. I was very intentional about not getting a jalapeno when I grabbed that lamb like I did but unbeknownst to me a jalapeno was creeping in my window now I couldn't see it because I got overly ambitious like I didn't grab them collard greens like I knew what I was doing baby my vision was blurred but your girl pulled through because okay you're a goon but it's a goon to a goblin nothing okay shall we continue we shall baby that is my favorite next up you know i had to try that egg now what i'm trying to figure out is what came first the chicken or the egg look it don't even matter i'm just glad they came together now let's break bread and bow our heads baby let me tell you one thing this ain't the type of food you need to be rushing to eat you need to be savoring the moment okay come on now next up was a teaspoon taste of size so i decided to start with the potatoes i love me a good potato now. and it was just a savory it reminded me of like curry that's the way I could describe it. You know what I'm saying? Let me go ahead and get some more. <laughs> okay, what's next, girl? We're going to try the lentils. I ain't never had lentils a day in my life. But you know what? It reminded me of like beans. It was the consistency of beans, but it was more savory, just more hearty. You know what I'm saying? And last but certainly not least was that cabbage. And you knew I was going to get into that cabbage because I love my veggie D boots, okay? But this cabbage was different, baby. This cabbage had the perfect balance of sweetness and savoriness. I just, ooh, that one right there, another favorite. So you know what I did? I'm going to take my two favorites and put it all together and what do you Baby, get? I made a combination platter with that chicken and that cabbage. I just had to say, thank you, Lord. And indulge in the masterpiece, baby. No, because I stay trying to give y'all some ASMR. <laughs> You're going to take this ASMR while I sit over here and gaze into the sunset and reflect on that beautiful combination and also think about how ain't nobody told me nothing. It's like, nah, I'm playing. Y'all definitely told me. And so I am so pressed. I appreciate y'all so much. This is me showing y'all, but really I'm not showing y'all. I'm really trying to make sure ain't no jalapeno in there, okay? That's just between me and you. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Don't worry about it, okay? Baby, look. I enjoyed this all the way to the final hour. Okay, your girl is stuffed. I can't eat nothing else, baby. I wash it down with that ginger ale, and I'm about to head on out. But none of this is going away. So, baby, look, you're going to have to get your own because it's mine.